In this video, we talk about merging branches and also how to handle one of the most common merge conflicts. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So we've created a couple branches. We have our master branch, we have our feature branch, which in our case, we have a special blog that feature that we created. And now we, we like it, it's turned out well, and we wanna merge them together and continue on with our project. So let's go over to git bash real quick. And just, just in case you're just catching up, let's go with git branch. So it lists out our branches. We have two branches. We have the master branch, the blog branch, and we want to merge the blog branch into the master branch. So first things first, we wanna make sure that we are in the master branch. Right now, you can tell I'm in the master branch because it says master right here. Also, when I listed out the branches, we see that master is green with the asterisk beside it saying that it is, we're in the master branch. If we need to change over to a branch, it just git checkout and then blog. So now I'm in the blog branch and if I needed to switch over to the master branch, git check out master. All right, so simple enough, right? Back in the master branch, wanna make sure I'm there because you typically wanna merge into your master branch, right? All right, so to do the merge, we do git merge and then the branch you're merging into the branch that you're currently on. So I'm currently on the master branch and I'm gonna merge something into the master branch, which is the blog branch. So blog, run it real quick and Boom, just like that, we've merged the two branches together. So it says it's updating our, our SHAs. Fast forward, so basically it's moving to that next merge commit area. So it moved over there. And basically this is what, what happened right here. We added these files and so on. So it gives us a rundown of what, we, what, what has happened. Now let's go ahead and do git log one line and see what happens. So what happens is we have our initial commit added basic HTML, initial blog setup commit, and then blog title change. So you see that we've merged the two branches together and now we're working on one branch, which is the master branch. You can also see while I'm in this master branch, we now have our blog directory. We didn't have that before. I'll put a little screenshot up to the before and now the after, after the merge, we see that the blog directory is in our, our master directory. And so that's basically how you merge branches together. Now, sometimes there's gonna be conflicts and I'm gonna show you a conflict and how to troubleshoot this conflict because it's probably the most common one there is. But if you do run into other conflicts, go to Google, Google the conflict that you're running into. Other people have had this conflict. They've found workarounds and so on and how to resolve it. So there's an answer out there. But I'm gonna show you how to get around one of the most common conflicts. And the conflict I'm gonna show you is if two branches work on the same file. So basically you have your master branch and you work on a file and then you have a, another branch and you work on that same file that you worked on in the master branch and then you try and merge them and then it's like, well, wait a second, you, you made this change over in this master branch and then you also made this change in this other branch. Which one is the right change or do you wanna combine the changes or what the heck do you wanna do? So that, that happens a lot um, because you know you have multiple people working on it one person adds one thing to you know a CSS file and another person adds the other thing to the CSS file and you get a, a merge issue. So let's go ahead and create another branch real quick. Git, git branch issue. So I made a new issue branch and then I'm gonna go git checkout issue. So now I'm in the issue branch and let's go ahead. I'm gonna edit my CSS file real quick. I say body background red and I'll close it real quick save all right and then I'll go ahead and get add get commit and then initial issue branch commit with bg change or something to that effect whatever doesn't matter um, so there's there's my issue branch with a change to my stylesheet.css. Now let me switch to my master real quick. Git checkout master. And then I wanna go ahead and I'll go ahead and edit my CSS file. And we see that that body stuff is gone because that happened in the issue branch. But let's go ahead and do h1, I don't know, color, blue. All right, cool, whatever, doesn't matter. The point is you see that we have two different style sheets of CSS, right? That's what I'm trying to get at. Let me go ahead and commit this 
git add git commit updated h1 color all right cool so we have two different branches that both worked on the stylesheet.css so just to double check i am on the master branch here want to make sure i'm there and then i want to go ahead and merge in the issue branch so git merge issue and conflict merge conflict in stylesheet.css automatic merge fail fix conflicts then commit the result and you also notice that it says master merging. So it tells us we're in like a different mode. We're in like merging mode. So, so our working directory is a little different. So let's open up our style sheet and see what it says. So basically what this is saying is that this chunk of code right here is in our head document, which is our master branch. So we got this code here and then we got this code over sitting in our issue branch. And it's like, what do you want to do? And basically whatever you do to this file is the, the file that you're going with. So you can, you can change it. You could be like, actually, you know what? I wanted it to be red and we could delete this out of here, delete this out of here. And we actually wanted our background to be blue. So good thing that it told us we messed something up and we delete that out of there. So whatever we have in this file now is what is, what is gold. If that's the word. I think that's the word, the phrase. Anyway, that's what we're going with. Close it, save. And now all I need to do is add the files to my staging area. Git add and git commit. And then it says waiting for your editor to close the file. And so it gives us a, a default message. I'll run that, keep it like that. And let me go ahead and do our git log one line. And now we see everything we've done here in the master branch. So we started out, we merged in the blog, we merged in the issue and so on. So if we actually look at our CSS file, we'll see that it is the one we, we edited just a few minutes ago uh, with our, our code changes. And just like that, we've resolved one of our merge issues. And again, there are many different types of merge issues, but that's probably the most common one I've seen. Um, and again, if you have any other ones, Google is your friend. All right, so that's really it for this video on merging branches together and handling some conflicts. If you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that, and I hope that you have a great rest of the day.